Hey guys, I partnered with Burnsomatic to build this little metal bench using aluminum brazing. I'm really excited for this because I have wanted to work with metal for a while and this is kind of my baby step into that world. Aluminum is a really soft metal, so you can cut it using a regular woodworking saw. The key though is to go really slow as you go through the cut. Once I had all the cuts made, I cleaned up all the gunk and residue using acetone. Now you can find the cut list and a link to the blog post with printable plans for this bench in the description below. Then I used a metal file and made a channel on each of the four sides of the end of the tube that was going to be joined. I followed that with cleaning up the ends with a wire brush. Now to assemble the bench, I started by arranging them on the workbench and made sure that they were square and clamped it all in place but it is important to use a metal clamp so the heat doesn't damage it. I'm sure you all know what will happen if the clamp is made of plastic. Now it is time to brace, but be sure to follow all the safety directions when using the high temperature torches. The Burnsomatic BZ8250 hose torch that I'm using has a flexible hose and a continuous flame lock, which makes it really convenient to use. Plus it has a fuel holster that makes it mobile. Now I started by applying heat to one of the joints. You have to apply heat continuously till the aluminum gets hot enough to melt the brazing rod on contact. For strong joints, it is extremely important that the aluminum is melting the brazing rod and not the heat from the torch. Because when you melt the brazing rod with the heat of the torch, the brazing material is just going to cool down when it contacts the metal tubes and it's not going to create a joint. Once one side is heated up and joined, I went around and did the same to all the other three sides. Since the first side was already heated up, the other three sides were slightly quicker. Brazing takes a bit of time and can get a little frustrating, but once you get a hang of it, it goes pretty smoothly. Now you have to allow enough time for the tubes to cool down before handling. I was wearing heat resistant gloves but I still had to give it a while before I could handle them easily. Remember the clamp gets hot too. I must say the joints are pretty strong and I was really really happy with them. For the second set of rods on the front and back, I used a wooden spacer block to get the uniform spacing and I went ahead and braced them all together. That is it! I built the front and the back, then put everything together using clamps and then braced all the joints. Once it was ready, I took it outside and gave it a few coats of satin bronze spray paint. Then I attached an upholstered top to the metal frame from the inside using one and a half inch self-tapping metal screws. The resulting bench is surprisingly strong and I love it. That's it, my first project with metal incorporated into it. Have I convinced you to try incorporating metals into your project yet? Before you go, I think you will also like this house number sign I made using the Burnsomatic torch. Or you might like this project. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future projects.